Rising seas have far-reaching effects and now threatens what is arguably the heart of Hampton Roads, our Navy operations. And that's why several organizations have joined forces to identify problems affecting the future of the military here. And your science, Kara Dixon, joins us with the findings of a new study. Yeah, Tom, there's a lot to unpack with this study because flooding affects a lot in our area. And that's because the main takeaways are building better communication between the Navy and localities to plan before it's too late. Water and the military help make Hampton Roads what it is. But the two don't always work together, especially when flooding can hinder people from getting on bases. It's a obvious Im impact to our um, community. That's why Whitney Catchmark and her colleagues at the Hampton Roads Planning District Commission worked with the Navy and local cities to figure out what they could do about it. We realized that there still wasn't as much communication with them as we'd like and getting a sense of how sea level rise and just flooding in general could impact their military readiness. The more than 200 page study released this week covers a lot of area, but... So the study focuses a lot um, basically on this the northern part of Virginia Beach and, and Norfolk. So. Catch Mark says most of the 22 action points focus on Hampton Boulevard and Shore Drive. Proposed projects include raising sections of Hampton Boulevard and Nemo Parkway, improving storm drains, building surge barriers on the Lafayette River, as well as a flood wall on the Willoughby Bay and a possible ferry service to Naval Station Norfolk. Catch Mark says it mostly focuses on transportation, but they're also working on better communication. We have a better sense of the military's priorities. So um, it may help us, you know, um, or in each locality um, set their priorities differently because they'll have that additional input. Input, she says, cities are already working on. But with these ideas, they're sure they'll be prepared when this threat comes for good. And the commission will be holding public meetings next month so, so the community can come out and learn more about the proposed ideas as well as give their own. We will have the link to the study over on wavy.com and we'll also post the meeting dates when we get them. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.